how to master social media for your business. Using social media is this incredible tool that businesses have right now that means you don't have to spend thousands on advertising. You can reach your potential customers all over the world through the power of social media. Social media is incredible for small businesses and has revolutionized our lives. I love it, but I also hate it. I have a real love-hate relationship with it because it's exhausting, it's draining, but I know how important and powerful it is. So I try and make sure that I am smart in the way that I show up on social media. So the first thing that I would say to you is really, really, really important. Do not, and I repeat, do not go everywhere. Just because you have a presence on a zillion platforms from Pinterest and Instagram and YouTube and Facebook and LinkedIn and da 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 does not mean you are gonna succeed on TikTok. You wanna go big on one platform. So wherever that platform is for you. So you choose what platform you like, that you like the people who are there and you like how it works. That is number one, you've got to feel passionate about showing up. But number two, you want to think smart. And that means being aware of the algorithms and how easy it is to grow on certain platforms compared to other platforms. Now, five years ago when I started my business, it was easy for me to grow on Facebook. And very soon I had thousands of followers on Facebook, but it's not quite like that right now. It's increasingly difficult to grow on Facebook. If I post a post in my Facebook group, I have 6,000 people in that group, I might get 300 views. If I post that same post on LinkedIn, I might get 10, 20, 100,000 views. And that is the power of using a different platform where you build an audience, but also you know that that message is gonna get seen because the algorithm is more supportive. If you were to compare Instagram and TikTok, it's much easier to grow on TikTok right now because the algorithm is more favorable to allowing you to grow. And so it's, very important for you as a business owner to think strategically, to think, where is my content going to get seen? I personally love Instagram. I love doing Instagram reels. I love being silly and having fun. But I also know that I get no return on investment of my time. Very occasionally, I'll have someone in my DM saying, I'd like to work with you. Whereas on LinkedIn, I post once a day and I'll post, I'll share my routine shortly. And I will get people into my inbox saying, I want to work with you. And that is incredible when you're a business owner to have people coming into your business saying, hi, I wanna work with you. Where else on social media, where else do you get that? And that is the power of LinkedIn right now. Of course, things might change. With social media, you have to be prepared that the algorithms will change, that things will move and shift, and you don't have control of it. As a business owner, the only thing you have control of is your email list. So that's why it's really important to use social media to grow your email list. Watch this video just here if you want to learn more. But sticking with the social media theme, it's really important to actually focus on one platform because you can go deep and really dive into that platform. So you spend your time, you build a community and you really engage on that platform. If you are spreading yourself too thin, you are not going to grow. So really focus on one platform. Now, I at the moment, this will shift and change, but at the moment, I really love LinkedIn. And the reason why is that I spend 
half an hour, 20 minutes every morning on the platform. And that is about it. I'll share what I do. So in the morning, I will feel inspired. I'm lying in bed. I usually wake five, 5 5.30ish and I'll write a post. And I try and write the post before my son wakes up. So I sort of, I write quite fast. On my phone, just whatever pops into my head, I'll write a post. And I try and be inspirational, informative, a bit silly, you know, depending on my mood. And I'll write a post. Um, I usually tell a story. I will include um, some kind of story, some kind of learning, a few facts about something that might be useful to other people. And then I'll have a call to action, asking them a question about that particular subject. And by asking a question, I then get more engagement. I will also include um, a selfie or an image of me because it's important for a personal brand to be using those images on a consistent basis. And I'll post that about 6.30, 7 a.m. And then during the first hour, I will really consciously try and comment back to the people who were replying and commenting on my post. So I do that while I'm organizing my son. So I'm a single mom, so I'm organizing my son, getting him dressed, getting him ready for school, and I'll add in a few more comments. And then I don't usually look at it till later on in the day. So about lunchtime, I'll look at it again, maybe 11ish, and I'll reply to some more comments. And I try, I'll notice if a post is really taken off and gone viral, I try and spend a bit more time on the post. So I'm really commenting to really go with it. Other times it doesn't take off so much. I get, you know, five, 10,000 views. So I'll still comment, but I, I, it's not like I feel like, oh gosh, I've got to spend two hours of my time commenting. It is literally five minutes, spend a t bit of time commenting, off I go, get on with my day again. And that is all I do on LinkedIn. I will then spend another 15, 20 minutes commenting on other people's posts. So, you know, people within the community, I'll comment on their posts. Use the three dots if you don't like someone. You can use this on Facebook, you can use this on LinkedIn. The three dots, you can get rid, filter out your feed so you can control who is in your feed. So if you feel triggered by somebody in your feed, you can get rid of that content. So you don't have to see them, you don't have to feel triggered by them. But it means it clears out the clutter and you can really have a lovely LinkedIn feed and comment on those posts. So I don't see lots of vitriol, lots of nastiness. I know it's out there and I see, you know, it can be a bit bear baiterish and gladiatorial and, you know, ooh. I don't see that. I just see nice people showing up, being friendly. And so that's what I give out and that's what I get back. If I were to be quite controversial in my posts, you get it back and maybe you enjoy that. Maybe you enjoy the cut and thrust of it. And that's great if you do. If you don't like me, then don't go anywhere near that space. Don't attempt to do that. And if I ever have created a post, I once did one about Ukraine before the invasion and I knew it was coming and I had lots of kind of pro-Russian sentiment on there criticizing me and I immediately just deleted the post. I thought, I just don't want it in my space. So if you are worried about social media and feel like, oh, that's a way to curate your social media so it doesn't overwhelm you. So literally, that is all I do on LinkedIn. I then, on Instagram, I may do a post or a reel on Instagram. I love Instagram and I have fun doing reels, but I will do it when I feel inspired, when I feel silly. I don't do it just for the sake of doing it because my number one place is LinkedIn. That's where I put my energy. Um, I put my energy onto YouTube and my energy onto LinkedIn. And so the other ones are a sort of bonus if I show up. I rarely post on my, um, on my Facebook group because the return on investment of posting there, the reach was so small, it just wasn't worth it. And you know, if that's me paying a virtual assistant to be doing that, someone in my team to do that, they have better things to do with their time than be doing that if no one's seeing it. In the same way, um, 
you know, actually me doing that or you doing that. You've got to think of your time, see your time as a commodity that is precious. So you've got to be really focused with where you show up, where you choose to put your energy and what you're going to get back from that. So really be aligned with what you love, what platform you love, but also the return on investment. Because when you make a post, and you don't hear anything back, it can be really soul destroying. It can be so upsetting. And so don't put yourself in that situation where you feel like you're posting and no one's commenting. Like say to yourself, okay, is it this platform that's not right for me? Am I gonna look elsewhere? And so actually, when it comes to Facebook, yes, look elsewhere. You don't have to accept that. You can say, I'm gonna actually investigate LinkedIn. I'm gonna go and check out TikTok or wherever appeals to you. But the one thing to remember is when you embrace a new platform, it is um, it's much easier to grow on the platform when it's a relatively new space. Now, LinkedIn is eons old, but actually as a content creation platform, it's relatively new. It has a smaller amount of people on the platform. I think it's like 800 million compared to the 2 billion on Facebook. So it's not as many people. And of those people on there, there is a small percentage who are creating content. And so it means that it's much easier to show up. In the same way on TikTok, it is much easier to show up because it's a new platform. So you can get in there and still have a land grab to make that impact that you want. Yes, it might be that you're making several TikToks a day to really get going, but it is possible. You just have to say, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna go all in. So rather than scattergun everywhere, focus on one place. You choose, you decide what works for you, but focus on that place and really go for it. Then finally, look at your stats. Look at those analytics to look at what is working, what's not working. So the videos that do well, the posts that do well, why are they doing well? Analyze them, discuss, think, hmm, what was it about that post that worked? So you can duplicate it. Because if you copy that same strategy of what worked, it really helps you because you can basically say, I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna go all in on that topic, do it again, do it again. And by doing that, it really helps you to stand out. So don't ignore the stats, go all in, deep dive into the stats and deep dive into one platform. Focus on one thing, be on one platform, focus in one place and go for it. Then you've got this, you can really build a successful social media strategy for your business. If you like this video, I share lots of tips and strategies to help you build your online business and sell thousands of courses. If you like this video, please click on the link to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell and I'll see you again soon. Bye, bye, bye for now.